for matching. Mm -hmm. um, with everything going on today, you know, I'm, I'm sure I don't haven't even looked into it, but I'm not sure if they still do cross gender matching. But from what I understand, they don't. Um, I taught him how to type. He wanted to type, so I took a laptop. You know, we would spend time doing that that kind of thing. But it was just I got involved with the community, and I really liked it. I don't have kids, so it was my way of. It's rewarding. It was isn't rewarding. It? You know, I grew up no no siblings in my house, so I always only wanted child. a brother. Yeah, only child. Um, I always wanted a brother or sister, but I just I don't know. Just children, you know. Even to this day, any ch any child, my mom always tells me or tells somebody, you know, if you let her have your child, you won't get them back. <laughs> That's children, so yeah, cool. I just For some reason, I just attach to kids. But the program just gave me a way to give back, mm. um, just just a way to give back. And I'm, I've gotten a lot from the program. Um, I always tell people I'm not a public speaker. I hate speaking in public. Mm. I'm terrified. Mm. But when it comes to talking about this program, Big Brothers Big Sisters. I mean, I, it seems like all the fear just goes away um, when I when I talk about the program. So you know, you don't think you get things out of it, but you do. Mm -hmm. It may be something very minimal, but you will. I can promise you, you'll get something out of the program. Well, just watching you, Sanja. She's awesome. Seriously, she awesome? I'm just just your yeah, energy yeah. from the first phone call yeah. to the second email She's to the here. in person. <laughs> It's like you're you're just contagious. Yeah. You're just a, mm -hmm. full of energy. Yes. Well, hopefully people will hear this and get full of energy and come out and volunteer. True. Mm. So do you, do they still do you still guys still go out to companies and try to recruit that yes, way? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, we're in the midst of the United Way campaign. We you know United Way is uh, yes the United Way is uh, hosting their campaign kicked off. So they have us going out speaking and. So we're going out speaking to a lot of companies about getting involved. Definitely supportive of United Way, but we're also speaking about you no know, volunteer. And I, my my situation is kind of different than Sanjay. I'm also am a volunteer. I actually was a volunteer before I started working for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. So I have a personal story myself, and I do have a family. I have three kids of my own, and I'm married. So what I tried to instill in my family was what some Sanjay said is about serving. You know, my son get his chance to see me serving others and I think that's a very healthy thing as we talk about our community to plant seeds into our kids because sometimes you write our wives or spouse be like hey you could be doing this and that but we could be serving others that's the biggest gift that we could be giving if and you go into the relationship like that exactly true yeah, you, you said it that's, <laughs> the, that's the key that is the key that so is the key. Um, it's it's just been a part of our culture, part of my environment, and so I'm happy that my kids are able to see that. And my little is the same age as my son, so they get along really well. And uh, I've experienced things with him and my son that I probably would have never. It, it is, it is. I mean, we went to Cavalia, and I probably would have never gone to Cavalia to see horses run around <laughs> and people jump off of horses, and I would have never paid for that. It, it was an amazing show. <laughs> but it was an amazing show, and I took my, my me, my little, and my son, and we all sat there. Amazed. Amazed, <laughs> really. So these are things that I've explored as we talk about experience and been exposed to that I normally probably wouldn't have been able to experience if it wasn't for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. So that's the validity of what we do and why we do it. I mean, not Big only give back. It's 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 it's, it's what it's about. So. So it's, what are your brothers saying now? As we're trying to get a hundred men and a hundred days campaign, we're joined this morning by Joseph Butler. He's our director of community engagements with uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and also Sonja Allison, our volunteer this morning. So when you go and you you meet your brothers, mm -hmm. um, what do you say to them? Like. You can't just come out and say, hey, we need some volunteers. People just shut down sort they of do. kind of like. They do. Well, you, you you know, definitely you want to warm them up. So definitely want to know a little bit about them and what they're doing, you know. And then, so my, if I was talking with you, hello, my name is Joseph Butler, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, what you got going on. And I want to know more about you. I want to learn you. I want to get to know you. It's cultivating a rela relationship. So I want to build that relationship first. The next thing I want to see is what you're doing. What are you already involved in? Because I want to appreciate what you are doing. I want to start off on a high note and appreciate 
what you have been given. Because yeah. most people come and they don't really care what you're doing, no. do they? I, and we want to appreciate you because I know you're doing something or, you you know, you want to do something. Then I want to share with you the opportunity about, you know, getting involved and the need that we have for, you know, men to get more involved. So that's kind of my, I'm going to call it my sales pitch, but that's my my approach, path, my direction, yeah. my approach on how to engage people into big that and big That is so brilliant. Yes. And I then like we that. come behind him, the women. They do. <laughs> and, oh, and, and, and yeah, what, is, what do you say, Sasha? Yeah, and, and, yes, <laughs> then we come behind him. And so tell me, you know, how much time do you think it takes? Exactly. And so then that leads to a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, like we were saying earlier, the misconception is about, <laughs> the misconception about time. And that is the biggest obstacle. So you just kind of have to be ready for any question, sure. you know, kind of combat that negative. You know, somebody usually, from my experience, I'll say, well, how much time do you think it will be? It, how much time do you think it takes? You know, I get, like I said, it once a, once a day, uh, five times a month. You know, I get all these outrageous times. And then when I tell them, you know, if you do school-based one hour a week, community-based two to four times, two to three times a month, you know, and they look at me like, are you serious? That's it? And your commitment is only one year. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to, once you sign, as he said about signing a contract, it's not that you're signing a contract for the rest of your life till mm -hmm. death do us part, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. You just sign a contract for one year. That's your commitment. It's one year. After one year, if you choose not to do the program, you're not obligated to do so. But I will tell you that I signed back in 04, and I'm still doing the program in 2010. So, wow. um, you know, it. like I said, you, you'll sign and... I don't hear of many people signing and then giving up after the first year. Now, they may have situations change that they have to give up the volunteerism, but just doing the program and saying, oh, I'm not rewarded, or I don't like doing it. I, I haven't heard of many stories where people just after the year just say, okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I don't really hear many of them. Or they might know. give up one year because of some issues and Correct. come back and come another back. year. Yeah. And I, we've, we've had some recruiting drives lately, and we, I have met some people that have done it before. Oh, I had to stop. You know, I had a change in my family situation. Now I want to get back involved. And so we've had people get back involved. Um, we've had people that have moved from different states that were involved in the program. Mm -hmm. And then when, during these recruiting events, they'll say, oh, well, y'all are here. I want to get back involved. Mm -hmm. I was involved in such and such state. You know, I did this. I did that. Okay, come on, sign up. We can get you back in. You know, we just got to go through, um, of course, mm -hmm. background checks, things like that. Um, and they, they come back in, and it's like they never left. Mm. During these economic times, is it hard to raise money? Do you need to raise money, and how much does it take? Oh, that's a great question. It, <laughs> we definitely do need to raise money because we're growing as an agency. I mean, we're serving over a 1,000 youth at this time, but, you know, I would say the number could definitely, as we move on, is trying to increase to 3,000, and that's the campaign we have going on, campaign for 3,000 lives. And we want to get up to all serving 10% of, of the community that can be served, which is 12,000 youth. So it takes $1,000 to support one match for a year. That's what it takes. It takes $1,000 to support one match for a year, to make, support, and monitor that match for a year. And when I say match, we have a match support specialist. It's professionally supported. So we have somebody that work with you through the length of that match. We have somebody that calls you, sends you information about resources that are available, that checks in with the little, checks in with the parent, checks in with the big, to make sure that that relationship is intact, you know, it's safe, and it has the resources it needs to continue to grow. So that's mm -hmm. when, we, when we talk about making a match and having that match supported. That's what the $1,000 is helping pay for. And we can donate online? You can definitely go online and donate again okay. to www.bbbscharlotte.org. They also take um, donations. When he was talking about um, the organization doing events, I know that there's people that donate Panthers tickets, Bobcats tickets. Um, I recently had someone contact me. They had hockey tickets. You know, they donated the ticket. So, you know, they take those type of donations as well. As I was saying earlier, there's a lot of kids that can't get that experience. Um, so, you know, if people have extra tickets and things like that, they can contact the office and they can donate, donate that way as well. That's really good. 
It's really good. Because I was going to say, some families are a little tight on budget mm-hmm. these days. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of, if, you, if you're creative, there's a lot of great things you can do. I mean, the great outdoors is number one. Is. Do we get outside and go to our nearest forest? Mm-hmm. Probably not. No. Go hiking or go to the park. You know, there's you, you're right. It doesn't cost a lot to be a big. It really doesn't. I mean, you incorporate that little into activities that you're already doing. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't have to create things. People think, you. I, what, what am I going to do with this little? You don't have to go create anything. We have so many wonderful free things here in Charlotte. So many. I took my little to the opening of the Beckler Museum. It was free. It was great. It was free. So these are things that are online. And, again, our Matt Support Specialist sent out that information saying, hey, check out this great opportunity. Just want to let you know you can go check, you know, take your little, take your family here. So, It doesn't cost a lot to be a a big brother. The expectation is not of you to spend all of your money. They tell you when you sign up for the program and they tell the parents, you know, the big is here as a support for your child. They're not expected to buy birthday gifts, you know, buy Christmas gifts. Every time you go out, they're not expected to buy the movie tickets, buy the the basketball tickets you know the parents are responsible for sending money with the child on the activities now if the big chooses to do that the big chooses to do that but that's not you're not expected to pay for the activities Um, that's communicated to the parent up front when they sign they sign their child up for the program that the big the big is not like an atm Mm. so you know a lot of people think i'm gonna send my child because that big you know a lot a lot of the bigs work in corporate america the ones that I know. So a lot of parents, you know, oh, well, they work in corporate America, you know, cha-ching, da-da-da-da. Um, so they send, you know, they send the child thinking, I'm not going to send any money. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, I work at a financial institution. Um, and so a lot of people say, oh, she works at a bank. She's got money. It, trust me, it's not even like that. <laughs> but from, you know, my situation, I've been with my girls so long that there are times when I, you know, I may spend because I, because I want to do it. But like I said, you're not obligated to do it. Um, I know from a tax perspective, um, I don't know all the logistics on that, but some things that you do through volunteerism, you can write off on your taxes. So, you know, a lot of times you can do that and you can take those expenses off on your taxes as well. So, you know, you can benefit from it. Mm, mm-hmm. This is good to know, and the yes, good yes. information's coming that from. That means you're gonna sign up, right? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you want to sign it does, up. It, it really does. does. It does. It's not. It, it's not hard. Like I said, I think a lot of people think it is just really, really hard. Um, like I said, once you do it, you get attached. You do. You, it, you get attached because yeah. you think. I'm thinking. You know, my daughter is 16. Does she want a, a you know a, a sister? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna give her one, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's an opportunity mm-hmm. there for her to But it's expand. an opportunity for her to also be a mentor, um, although she can't do it at 16. But the, she can officially she can experience it with you. Me. So, you know, later in life, when she becomes the age to be a volunteer, you know, she may say, hey, I, my mom volunteered, you know, hey, I really like to do this. So then she steps up. Easy decision. And, yeah. Sure. Takes what you've taught her, mm-hmm. you know, and then teaches that to the next little girl, the next radio personality mm-hmm. to be on the air. You know? Taking my job. Taking your job. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need to join the movement to help yes. us change the way children grow up in America and in Charlotte, one child at a time, inspire hope for our youth By volunteering, donating, asking a frat brother to become involved and seeking other opportunities with big brothers and big sisters this morning, we've been joined by Sanja Allison, our volunteer extraordinaire, my new best friend, and also Joseph Butler, our director of community engagements. Now, we can go online to www.bbbs. Charlotte.org. 100 Men in a 100 Days campaign is what it's all about. They're located at 3801 Independence Boulevard. Now, they cover Mecklenburg and Cabarrus. And right now, we're just looking for 100 men. Uh, we got women, but Correct. we need girls, little girls. Correct. A lot of us think, well, I can take care of my little girl. I don't want my little girl. But, you know, the more the better. And I like the way you said, Joseph, that it's, it's lives. <laughs> it's not just being a big... Right. It's lives that you're changing. And if you can change one at a time, you're talking about a life. True. These kids will remember you forever. True. You can leave a legacy. That's what it's about. 